What's up guys, it's JFix here. Uh, coming at you with another video, part two of Project Dusty. Um, I meant to show you guys video of heater pour, but I completely forgot to record, so I apologize for that. But we're gonna do something similar with the cooling system. Uh, so a few days ago, I noticed a very light leak. It wasn't bad, but it's an old leak in my radiator system. And I was wondering, okay, what the heck? Did that but uh, apparently the person who owned this car before me decided to go ahead and put a sealer inside the radiator to try to seal it up and I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see inside okay let's see if I can get that but if you guys can't see inside I'll have to look at the clips again there's little chunks in here that are kind of clogging the entire radiator. So, what I went ahead and did, and I know you guys are gonna diss me for this, but I went ahead and bought a radiator off of Amazon, 250 bucks, so I don't expect it to be horrible. I hope it actually is good. It's supposed to be a performance radiator, and I'll drop the link at the, in the description below, just so you guys can see. But, I mean, I'm going to get installing that tonight, and hopefully it can drive by the end of the night, and I can give you guys an update on how it goes. And I'll try to throw in a few clips of me installing it, but we'll see. Okay, what's up, guys? Uh, had some dinner, so I took a small break, but got the old radiator mounted, got the shroud housing dismounted. Uh, to give you a small reference... I've already started putting in the new radiator. There's the new radiator. Nice, thick. Then we walk over here. Kind of made a small mess, but that's the old radiator. And I'm wondering if that's a leak right there that was just starting to form. But uh, so far, that's what it's looking like. It's looking pretty good. So I will keep you guys updated in how it goes. And then we'll go for a drive. Okay, what's up you guys? Okay, so ran into a few difficulties right now. It's running, uh, just led the system. But we ran into a few difficulties for starters. The fan shroud would not connect to the uh, new harness. So we're going without a fan shroud right now. But right now, it's running pretty good. I mean, pretty smooth trying to drop my phone but pretty smooth she looks clean there's the old fan shroud i took almost two and a half maybe wait how much is up in this yeah so two or three quarters of cool but so that's what we're working with right now it's running very smoothly and i'm just finishing everything up as you guys can see, it's running at perfect temperature. I got the heat on the best it can go because for some kind of reason whenever I go like this, it just wants to go right back. So that's how that one's turning out. Sorry for the messy interior. But yeah, that's how it looks with the new radiator. And I'm kind of digging it. I mean, I'm not sure if you guys know this, but because of these, this is user mounted right here, but couldn't mount it right there, so it's mounted right up here right next to it. I'm getting a new one, an aluminum tank, and yeah, it's running. Oh, I have no idea where that went. Uh, looks like it's running smoothly, it's not overheating, which I'm glad about. I'm not going to open that up to check the flu level because, well, that'd just be pretty stupid, but. This is the perfect time to actually show you guys what I meant by stuff filling up the old radiator. You see those little clumps right in there? I have no idea what that is. So if you guys do have any idea what those clumps are, please let me know. But yeah, uh, we'll go and take it for a test drive in just a second and we'll get back to you. Okay, so just went on the drive with the new radiator in. Holy crap, that was a whole different drive because I'm going to assume 
that the people who had the tube before, they were having leaks in the radiator, so they used a filler, and it probably clogged most of the slots. But with this new radiator, everything's just flowing so smoothly, and I'm honestly impressed. Like, it came out of the box with a few nicks with the, like, in the slits, but not enough to create a leak, and it looks nice. It looks insanely nice, it runs smoothly, and this is actually starting to become a great day to drive, and honestly, I don't know what to say from that, but thank you so much for watching. If you did like the video, please consider subscribing or dropping a like, and I will hit you guys up when I have another project, which probably won't be too long from now. I'm getting the new uh, coolant reservoir. Sorry, my brain's processing, so it's late at night. But I'm getting a new coolant reservoir, which I'll install on my own time. Um, but if you guys have any ideas on what to do next to modify it, please just let me know in the comments below so then I can actually start getting some ideas and get this thing actually looking outstanding. So thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all have a great day.